Hello everyone, in this video we will take a look at how you can use R to visualize stock charts and in doing so we will be leveraging a few libraries um, so specifically we will be using uh, the QuantMod package uh, which I have covered in a previous video in a lot more detail and uh, we will be using another charting package which is HighCharts HighCharts is a web-based, uh, JavaScript-based uh, charting package and uh, to wire it all together we are going to be using uh, another R package which is the HighCharter package. So again I have covered both QuantMod, uh, the package and HighCharter in a separate video so I uh, recommend you take a look at those earlier videos if, uh, if you are not familiar with either of these two packages. Uh, in summary QuantMod is a great package uh, to retrieve uh, financial uh, stock data, it allows you to create uh, very rich charts uh, and it allows you to do things like technical analysis and uh, display technical analysis on the chart. However, QuantMod itself, the visualization though is great, it's uh, static images, uh, it's not interactive so um, it's sometimes harder to do further analysis uh, just with uh, QuantMod. And that's one of the reasons today we'll take a look at how you can use um, high charts, um, the library to uh, provide a much more visual, uh, interactive kind of like canvas uh, for analyzing stocks. Uh, so just uh, quickly show you what the high charts library looks like. So if you head over to highcharts.com, so I'm currently in the high stocks uh, demo page, one of the demo page. Uh, keep in mind that High Charts itself is a commercial library, so you can use it for free, but um, uh, to test it. But uh, for commercial applications, it's a paid product, uh, so it's not uh, free or open source. So just keep that in mind. However, it's a great package uh, overall. So uh, just to highlight again, um, because High Charts is a web-based framework, um, it uses JavaScript libraries behind the scene. As you can see, it's a uh, provides a very rich uh, interactive canvas for us to uh, visually kind of like inspect um, the chart data. Alright, so looking at our code, uh, really simple. So we are going to be using two libraries today. So one is the QuantMod library itself and the other is the HighCharter library. So chances are you have used QuantMod several times before, but if not, um, just a quick uh, example. So I'm going to uh, get the uh, the chart data for Apple. Ignore the message for now, and uh, you can see it's really simple. So we have uh, produced a quick chart of um, the Apple stock series. Uh, so as you can see, there's uh, quite a lot of data here. So it's uh, going back from 2016 all the way to 2007. So a lot of data, but we can. Um, take a smaller subset of that for the last three months as you can see so this is the chart for Apple uh, last three months uh, though it's a great chart um, again it's it's very static it's not really interactive like um, uh, again sometimes it's just easier if we had an interactive canvas to uh, do some further analysis uh, so which is why we are going to use um, the high charter library so as an example I'm going to plot the same Apple data uh, but uh, with um, the high charter library. So here you can see now we have uh, benefited from QuantMod to retrieve the data. We are still uh, with an R but um, uh, again uh, provides a browser view if you will into that underlying data. So as you can see how simple that integration is. Uh, the benefit again by bringing it all um, in high charter is uh, you don't have to keep typing in uh, to slice and dice the data so of course it gives you a visual inspection capability but also if I wanted to analyze the data I can just uh, click on these buttons here instead of me having to type around a whole lot or if I were to slice it based on different time frames uh, or even zoom in zoom out uh, as you can see it's really really um, much more productive uh, when you want to include say uh, that interactive experience within your workflow and of course, uh, last thing is um, High Charter allows you to uh, you know, color and uh, change the theme. Uh, so overall, it's a great package. So uh, again, you can see uh, you know some some of the more familiar color patterns, if you will, uh, or color themes uh, that you can uh, plug in into High Charter. Last thing again, worthwhile pointing out that uh, while High Charter, I'm sorry, High Charts 
uh, is a great library uh, to do visual uh, kind of like inspection of the data. It still doesn't support uh, overlaying things like technical analysis, uh, like say for example for um, the the chart that we produced in um, quant mod. If I wanted to, I could uh, uh, add some technical analysis and overlay it on top of um, high, uh, I'm sorry, quant mod visualizations, which of course uh, at this point you can't do that in high charts library, but uh, all in all it's a great um, for, uh, library if you wanted to leverage that as part of your analysis workflow. Hope the video has been helpful. Uh, again, do check out uh, the quant mod uh, detailed uh, video as well as the high chart of video if um, either of these two libraries uh, you are not comfortable or not familiar with. Uh, so hope this video has been helpful. Do like and subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching.